are you running different Kubernetes distribution? Maybe across different infrastructure providers, but struggling to keep everything consistent, secure, and easy to manage. For platform engineers, managing Kubernetes across multiple environments can be a challenge. Different tools, different configurations, constant maintenance. And for developers, deploying applications consistently across clusters shouldn't feel like an uphill battle, but with different distributions, environments, and policies, it often does. What if you had one seamless way to manage Kubernetes infrastructure and deploy applications without worrying about the underlying differences? Hi, I'm Jose Gomez, Director of Technical Marketing and Nutanix. I've seen firsthand how teams struggle with Kubernetes fragmentation, switching between different tools, troubleshooting inconsistency, and dealing with operational overhead. It slows down innovation and makes scaling a challenge. Let me show you how, with Nutanix Kubernetes Platform, your team gets a unified experience to manage Kubernetes anywhere, on-prem, cloud, or hybrid. On this NTP environment, we are running several Kubernetes clusters. We have clusters running NKP, we have clusters running EKS, and clusters running EKS, or even clusters on Metal. Now, this is the view as a platform engineer. Let's move to the view as a Kubernetes user or developer. Here, as a developer, I'm on my project where I'm going to run my boutique application. Right now, as a developer, I have a single cluster, an NKP cluster running on Nutanix. My application, a boutique application, I have used continuous deployment with Flux CD to deploy my application. This is the GitHub repo where my application is located, all the manifest to deploy this application. To see how the application is running, we can open our Kubernetes dashboard for the application, and then we will head to the namespace for this application. Let's go to the boutique application. Let's check the services, and let's open our IP address for the load balancer in this application. Now we have done all this development on premises, but our application is going to run on the public cloud. How we can provide that functionality to our developers very easily on their project? Heading back as a platform engineer, now I want to enable to that boutique project with additional clusters. But before we do that, we want to see as well that on those clusters, the application doesn't exist yet and we are talking specifically about the EKS and AKS cluster. Let's open the Kubernetes dashboard for EKS first. As you can see, the boutique namespace doesn't exist. Let's repeat the same process for AKS. Let's check the namespace. Again, those namespaces doesn't exist yet. Heading back to our projects in NKP, Let's edit the boutique project and assign the additional clusters. Here, let's select EKS and AKS. What's going to happen when I click Save? Due to our integration with continuous deployment using FlagCD, automatically that application that we have in our GitHub repo, all those manifests, will get deployed on these clusters, bringing consistency across any Kubernetes distribution or Kubernetes location. Let's save and let's head back as a developer that I can see here the additional Kubernetes clusters and let's open now that application. Let's go to the Kubernetes dashboard for EKS. So now here on the Kubernetes dashboard, let's go to the boutique application services and let's open the URL. So our application is running on, and we can see here, on EKS. Let's do the same for the application on EKS. Go to the boutique, services, and let's open the IP address that we got from EKS. And here we have the application as well. Let's do now a change on our application. For that, let's open the URL 
for our GitHub repo. And let's make a quick change on a file. Let's use here on release with Istio, Kubernetes manifest. Let's edit the file. And what we are going to do is we want to remove this message that we have on the top. So heading back to our NKP, let's search by message and let's comment these two lines. Let's commit the changes. And now what we will see is Flux SCD will detect that there is a change on the repo and will deploy new pods for the front-end service. Here we can see that for our Kubernetes cluster, the AKS cluster, the pod is getting created. So let's go back again and open the URL. Now we can see that we don't have the banner on the top. Let's do the same for our cluster on AKS. Let's go back here. Let's open the Kubernetes dashboard to ensure that we open the right application. Let's check our pods for the boutique application. We can see a minute ago. Let's open the front end. It's running, but go back to services, open here, and the banner is gone. This is not the only functionality that users can get consistent deployment of applications across any Kubernetes distribution or location, but also they get consistent observability stack as well. As an example, on EKS, we can open Grafana and here we can go to our application that we just deployed on the namespace boutique. And let's do the same for our EKS cluster. Grafana as well and the same experience regardless of the Kubernetes distribution or cluster location. Finally, something that we include with NKP as well is Istio with Kiali. So we can see how our different microservices, they are interacting with each other. Here we have the Kiali dashboard and we can see the different microservices, how they communicate. So there you have it, no more complexities, no more fragmented experiences, just one powerful platform for Kubernetes management and application deployment anywhere. Stay tuned for more episodes of Nutanix Kubernetes Platform. Don't forget to try the NKP test drive at nutanix.com slash test drive and subscribe to our channel for getting the latest releases. I can't wait to see how you use NKP to build and manage containerized applications at scale.